Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking is Cooking. It's been long, so let's start with snack on. Here I have some upma pakoras for you today. You can also call them as semolina fritters if you wish to. It's a very easy and delicious recipe to stack on. So let's start cooking. We're going to start by heating up a pan in high flame. As the pan gets hot, we're going to add in about two tablespoons of oil to this. Next goes in about half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. They have started to pop. I'm going to add in a few curry leaves, one red chili, a little bit of ginger and green chili. I'm going to next add in some onions. And we're going to cook this until they are slightly golden. Midway through, you can add in salt as per taste. Looks good to me. I'm going to add in carrots and French beans, chopped. We're going to crush in a little bit of black pepper. Looks all colorful and good. I'm going to add in three fourth cup of semolina or suji to this. I'm going to stir this and cook this for a minute. I'm going to next pour in some water to this. Now I'm going to cover this and cook this for about five minutes. Now our upma is done. I'm going to stir it one last time. After that, I'm going to cover the pan, switch off the flame, and let it stay idle for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. So our upma has cooled, and I have transferred it to a bowl. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of chili flakes and some crushed peanuts to this. Also goes in a little bit of chopped coriander. Now we're going to mix all the ingredients really well. All ready to turn this into fritters. Now we're going to dip our hands into water. After that, we're going to grab a little dumpling from this mixture and add this to the very hot oil. Make sure the oil is really hot and fry this in batches. We have to fry this until they are golden in color and they may clump while they are frying. Don't worry, don't turn them too much. Let them fry and uh, they'll be all okay after you have taken them out from the hot oil. After they are golden, we have to take them out and then we have to sprinkle in a little bit of salt and coriander powder. Repeat the same with the rest of the mixture and make your fritters like so. So here we go, our semolina fritters are already served with some ketchup, some chili sauce or with some peanut chutney as you like it and uh, all ready to munch in. Thanks for watching, that was all for today. You can always find the text recipe on our website cookingshooking.com. You are awesome to be with us till here into the video. Subscribe for more food fun. Thanks for watching.